Hello, this is Sonia and Christopher, and welcome to Red Cardinal Kitchen. Today, we are making a ginger sesame chicken slaw on rolled bread. This is an easy salad to make with a dressing that you can whip up in seconds. The chicken slaw salad is rolled up in a whole grain slice of bread. Very easy to make. All of our recipes with preparations, measured ingredients, and instructions are in the description below our video. And don't forget, new visitors, to subscribe. Click that bell for notifications, share, leave a comment, join our family. We'll be glad to hear from you. All right, so let's do this. All right, so here we have our blender. It's not a hot skillet, it's a blender. And inside I have some shredded cabbage, a little bit of purple or red, green, and some carrots. I have it sitting into some water and lemon juice. We're gonna turn it on and get it cut down a little bit more. <laughs> And that is it. I'm going to take it over to the sink and we're going to go ahead and drain it. And this is just for two sandwiches, but my recipe is going to be for six sandwiches but we're just going to make for two today. All right. So now, oops, <laughs> the same water, I guess. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put, I'm going to squeeze out a little bit more of it. Always use clean hands. And there we go. And I'll just go ahead and squeeze it right out. Go ahead. And put that right in there. Okay, so you have your chopped up ground. <laughs> All right, now we're going to add to that uh, some jalapeno peppers. Some zucchini and if you don't like zucchini you can use cucumber here's some nice green celery and some red and orange peppers sweet little mini peppers all right so there's your vegetables and then we're going to add some ketchup. And Christopher named the ketchup this type of sauce. What? You were telling me. Probably cocktail sauce. No, he said. That's the mustard. Oh. It's Chinese mustard. Anyway, it's chilly type affair. It's a hotter. That's not gonna work. Get my trusty but dusty <laughs> little spoons. All right. And that was the mustard and the ketchup with goodies in it. And here's uh, a little bit more of a, uh, has a little bit of, uh, I put in some. I have some maraschino cherry juice, and so I put that in there. And let's see. And I will put in some honey. And a few 
time. And let's see. Here is some oil, infused garlic oil with garlic. Have to look. Oops. This is sesame and soy, sesame oil with soy. And this is ginger, fresh grated ginger. And so that's all of that. And I will put this back on the motor. <laughs> finish off our sauce up here and this is some uh, I made some coleslaw uh, dressing and here's some chicken broth and finally I'll leave that out till I get this get it going and it doesn't matter if there's any cabbage on it because it's all going to go <laughs> save the fat. All right, and I'm going to turn this on. All right, and that's all there is to that. Just a very light little vinaigrette type sauce. Pour it right into the vegetables. All those nice herbs and seasonings. All right, so then I just need a little bit of vinaigrette. And it's very thin like so. And put that there. All right, now we have our chicken and you can use tuna, any kind of meat. Uh, I think pulled pork would be good in this without the barbecue sauce maybe or that too. <laughs> okay, and you want to get it not chunky chunky because it's got a be rolled up into the bread and you don't want to fall out so, so that's done nice white meat chicken breast and if you don't want to go through the hassle of making it yourself then you can go ahead and get a piece already from the deli all right now we're going to add our vinaigrette salad and put all that in there and finish tossing that together and if it's a little juicy just let it stand for a little bit and then you can strain it and save the vinaigrette sauce for another salad and but I've got some right here all right so then we're going to add some this is uh, sour cream nice cold sour cream and we're going to fold that in And you can put these on hoagie rolls, uh, any kind of other bread that you like. You can make little pedophores, pinwheels, uh, double or triple sandwiches where you stack the, the bread with the filling. All right, so here you have it. Now this can be eaten as a salad or as a a sandwich and that's what I made it for is a sandwich so I'm going to put that there now it's time to now I've got one I want to show you how I did that it's no big deal but so let's see I'm gonna it's just a standard piece of bread any kind that you like and I heat it it's easier to roll when it's warm. So take your roll pin, just flatten it on out, and 
turn it a little bit. Makes it a little bit bigger too. That's all you do. And want that rolling around on us. All right, so I have one made. And here's what. I'll give this nice one to the cameraman. All right, so let's go ahead. And I guess I could use my fork here. And we're going to put our filling. Oops. Kind of right there. You have to make a little mess, you know, or you're not cooking. All right. Looks like it'll serve six. I was only going to do it for two people. Okay, and then I like to have just a little extra crunch, so I left some without being blended. But I knew that I had to have some of it blended because I wanted it to hold. And I made a mistake. <laughs> it's not a big one. I'll just put it right here. That'll help seal it. And this is cream cheese. I'll put on the full one over there. And then over the salad, just a little bit of that vinaigrette. With that ginger, that sesame seed oil. Mm. All right, and just wrap it up like so. And then, let's see, we'll do it this way. That. Now we'll just cut it. Maybe not the right knife here. You have to be careful not to go through my board here. I don't have to worry. It's not a cutting board. There we go. And there we have it. All right. So I'm going to get this all put together and we'll come back for that taste test. See you in a little bit. All right. And guess what time it is? It's time for the taste test. Mmm, yummerlies. I'm gonna take this one. And I'll remove the toothpick. <laughs> okay, they might be a little hard to eat, but we'll see. Mm-mm-mm. Mmm. Hard to talk when you do taste this. <laughs> Give me a moment. <laughs> well, <Wow. laughs> that was delicious. All right, so to see more of our videos, subscribe and click that bell. Share with your family and friends. And leave a comment. We'd like to hear from you. Well, thank you for your visit, and we'll see you on the flip side. Happy eating, and God bless. Goodbye for now.